To cite a website using Noodle Tools, the first thing that you need to do is make sure you are logged in and then select your project. Don't forget that your login is your first dash last name and your password is your lunch code with a zero in front if your password is less, lunch code is less than four digits. I'll go ahead and select my project, 13 Colonies, New Jersey. The next thing that I'm going to do is click Sources up here. Once I'm on the source page, I'm going to go ahead and add, click on Create New Citation. I am using the basic starter level right now, so it asks me, where, what, where is it? Is this a database? This would be something like using World Book Online or Country Reports. Is it a website? Is it a print source that I can hold in my hand? Or is this a file or an ebook? This is a website, so I'm going to go ahead and select website. Then it wants to know, is this a web page, book, magazine, photo, or reference source? This is a web page. The next thing is I'm going to my source that I have located that I want to use for my research. Once I've located a credible source that I know I want to use, I'll go ahead and look at the information. The first question it asks is for the URL. This is the link. So I'm going to copy and paste this link into Noodle Tools where it says URL. The next thing it asks for is the date of publication, meaning when did they publish this? So I'll go back to this site. Usually this is toward the top or toward the bottom of the page. So far I haven't located it, so I might have to look around for a minute. So I see an option that says about this site, so I might select this to find more information. As I look at this, I skim through the information. I didn't find anything so far. I might go to purpose. So far, I haven't located anything. So what I would do is after I've looked around for a little bit, if I can't find anything, then I would leave it blank. Sometimes you'll find it at the t bottom in the tiny letters, but on this website, I did not. The next one is the most recent date of access. So when did I look at this website? Because information online can change day to day. I looked at today, so I'm going to select today. The next information that it asks for is the contributor. This might be an author or an editor. Some websites have an author, others don't. I'll go back to my article. And I don't see one toward the top or toward the bottom where I usually would find one. So I might click again on the about this site. And I discover this website's brought to me from the Library of Congress in Washington, DC. So it doesn't have a set person. If it there is not a person, then I'm going to leave it blank. So I will leave this section blank if I cannot find that information. The next information that it wants is the web page title. So I will go back to my source. And I see that my web page title is Henry Hudson and his crew sailed into the river that would bear his name. This is pretty lengthy, so I might try to copy and paste it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and double check to make sure that it capitalized. And it did something funny with the formatting, so I'm going to double check it. Henry Hudson and his crew sailed into the river that would bear his name. Now, it's giving me this box here, so I'm going to go ahead and look at its suggestion. The first letter of the word that should be cap most likely be capitalized. So I might go back and change this. The next information that it wants is the name of the website. This is usually found toward the top. So if I look, the name of this website is America's Story from America's Library. So I will go back. America's Story from America's Library. And I'll also confirm that I've capitalized all of the important words of the title. The next information that it wants is the publisher of the site. This is usually found toward the bottom of a page. So usually sometimes in tiny letters way down here, you might see this. I found this out by looking at the from about this site that this is brought to me by the Library of Congress. So I will go ahead back to Noodle Tools and type in Library of Congress, capitalizing the important words. If your teacher requests that you do an annotation to give information about your source, you can complete your annotation there. Otherwise, you'll go ahead and click Submit. 
and you have created your first citation using a website. It'll say the title of the web page, Henry Hudson and his crew sailed into the river that would bear his name. It tells me the name of the website, tells me the publisher, it gives me the URL, and tells me when I access this website. The great thing about Noodle Tools is tomorrow, if I go to look at this information and I'm having trouble finding this web page, I can go to Noodle Tools and then click View Live Web Page, and it'll take me directly to that source. Another cool thing about Noodle Tools is that you can actually go in and add note cards um, about that information. And so you can keep notes on here to keep track of what information you found on this site. This is another great tool that you can use while you're here if you would like. And this is how you cite a website using Noodle Tools.